What's going on everybody, your host AMF1534 here, and I already know instructions to know how to rock! <laughs> oh man, Aqua Teen Hunger Force is on right now, and Carl just busted out that line, and I love that show. Haven't seen it in a while though, but I love when he says lines that are fucking awesome like that, so... <laughs> back to business, uh, we have a boss fight to deal with, so we're just gonna go slowly waltz in there. I'm excited for it. I, I really am. Um, I've been thinking about this for the last couple of days now, but I haven't had the opportunity to film much, so now we're going to get this shit done and out of the way, because ah, it needs to happen. The lair. This is where they usually die. And by that they, you don't mean me. impressive footprint right there. If it's anything like our fight with the Beast of Care Bailing, it'll be fun. I don't know exactly what the Beast of Care Bailig was, but I'll bet that this is probably going to be pretty similar. Uh, just just throwing it out there. You know what this reminds me of, just because of the fact that it, oh boy, just the fact that it's dark. I don't know if I like this whole tiered thing right here. I really hope it, this isn't going to involve us having to run around through all of it, but it, it looks like it's actually not going to. The real thing goes on down here. I came and found out that uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark is available on YouTube. They got, like, all the episodes. I wish it would have been Netflix. It would have been way better. What the fuck is this? Oh, God, it's fucking, um... It's that... The Beast of Orox, huh? That thing looks like the one of the fucking bosses from Turtles in Time. That's what it looks like. It's that fucking alligator guy whose name I can't remember. Uh, fucking Leatherhead, is that what his name was? Leatherhead? I don't remember. I think it is. Ooh, shit. I think it was, because I always used to call him Lutherhead, because he reminded me of a college basketball player, just from the name. Oh, God. God, he is just fucking charging all over the place. However, he doesn't appear like he's going to be a very hard guy oh, to deal with. Unless he is. Ah, see? He goes, he goes berserk in here. He go he goes invincible when he gets red when he gets red with envy. But yeah, dude, I was uh, I was watching uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark today because I found out that it was available again, and I always forget how like how both how awesome the show is and how incredibly cheesy it is at the same time, which is understandable because it was in 1994, so like you can only do so much with that. And I also found out that that was totally a Canadian show. I, did not, I, I think I was just too, like, naive to realize it back then, but it totally was. And, like, in the most obvious way, too, like, going back and watching it now, I can totally, I can totally, you know, notice, like, the Canadian accents on, like, half of the actors and actresses and stuff. And, whoa, okay, you're going, you're going big here. Ooh, gotta chill, gotta chill. Realize I haven't used any of my evasion rolls yet, but you know what? At this point, I don't even care. We're gonna make do without it. <laughs> I'm gonna waste a bomb. But yeah, like all the people in the credits, like most, like probably more than half the names are definitely uh, Canadian, or they have like French, like French last names in there. So you know, it's like ooh. But I definitely watched a couple episodes today, and I was like, dude, like. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. There are parts of it that are creepy, like even still, just because it is what it is. But I'm not. You can't. You cannot sit here and tell me with a straight face that the fire ghost doesn't freak you out. You just. You can't. You. You, you just can't. Because it's fucking weird and it's scary and oh, and we're dead. And the fire ghost is totally an embodiment of Satan. That's just what it is. Welcome back, elf. Yeah, welcome back. You have no fucking skull coins, so get the job done without dying. <laughs> That is not a good way to start! Word of the wise, do not leave. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah, let say, do not leave um, bombs on the ground during this fight, because it doesn't help you any! Oh, whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> God, too much. But I was watching one, it was the very first episode in the entire series. Uh, and it was called, oh shit! It wasn't called, oh shit! It wasn't called, oh shit! It was called The Tale of the Phantom Cab, and there's a part in there where this guy just does the most fucking cheesy thing, and it's so funny. <laughs> he goes, he goes, well, you know, I'm kind of, he's like, I'm kind of cursed to go through this, this thing every night. And, uh, 
You know, it always ends up being with a different fair, and I go through the same scenario. And they're like, they're like, how did you? Or he's like, uh, so what happened to you? He's like, well, oh no, we didn't make it. Oh god, oh no, we have died a horrible fate because I failed to dodge at the right time. Son of a fucker. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. It's actually, it's not really that hard of a fight. Like, I, you know exactly what he's gonna do. It's just the idea that he kind of just gets in the way. Like, he just, he just overpowers you completely. That's, that's the part that gets me. He just charges you and like sometimes you get deer in the headlight syndrome and you're just like oh he's coming for me i don't know what to do but i do i'm just not doing it we'll be all right this time look at me i'm coming out of the water straight out of my failed antics as a tur uh, ninja turtles boss <laughs> and he's got like his fucking snake jaw going on over there thing was like only being held together by some string oh boy yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna fall for your bullshit this time, buddy. I think I spent over half the time just trying to figure out how to get away from you when I had all these old bastards coming at me. <laughs> this is actually really good for being cave turkey. Um, but yeah, so he's like, he's like, yeah, I'm just, I'm doomed to deal with this every night. And I was, uh, I, I don't remember exactly what happened right after that, but he's like, I was driving and I hit this. And I uh, hit this big old tree, and well, you could, you could kind of say, he like turns, he like turns to the to the camera. You could kind of say, I sort of died. <laughs> and it was just so fucking, it was so cheesy, but it was it was funny though. And I'm just like this fucking show, you know, always coming at you with something good. And then I I watched I watched uh like. I watched, uh, and it had fucking Dr. Vink in it, with a vuh, 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 dude, Dr. Vink was a, was a pimp. Not actually a pimp, he was actually probably the furthest thing from a pimp, but, you know, you know what I mean. He was, he was fucking cool. Ooh. And he was, like, one of the only recurring characters in the entire show. Because I think he was in, like, probably at least four or five episodes, for one reason or another. Because he's fucking rad. I don't think there was any other recurring characters in there. <clears throat> Fuck. Oh yeah, there we go. Yep. Come on, come on, baby, come on. Nope, nope. We gotta go get some. Gotta get some food. There's definitely food over here somewhere. I don't know where, but I know it's here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, we, we're close. We are. We are definitely. We are treading the. Woo! We're treading the water here. Of of almost winning. We just have to stay alive for a second while he goes on his crazy. Olympic high jump tirade over here. Okay, here we go. Back in business now. Back in business as I shoot a bomb up your ass. What are you gonna do about it? What you gonna do, bitch? What you gonna do? Come on. Oh yeah! Besting the best. Er, no, besting the beast, not the best. He was probably considerably the best of the beasts, though. Bum, bum, bum. I mean, what's up with all these little alligator men, or were they? Oh, good. Our gold crop has come up the in full. The legendary beast is dead. This has only happened once before. <laughs> when I did it, you didn't do it as well as I did it, because, well, I did it. He's like the oral Hershizer of, of, you know, wizardry and mazes. Well, you know what? Right when you think that you've done better than me. This reminds me of a time back in 1984 when I totally did it better than you did. Because no one can ever do it better than me. And... Uh, Apoc, huh? He, he, he did it the best. That's okay. Eh, not too bad. 333? I mean, I could have done better. Could have done worse, though. I could have just done what we did last time and just got fucking killed. I mean, that's the other alternative here. But yeah, dude. Are you afraid of the dark? Definitely a cheesy one. I watched the Renegade Virus one though. That one was what. That one's probably my, probably it's it's in my top five. My top five goes um, the Fire Ghost, which is easily the scariest one in the whole fucking series. There's no getting around it. Then there's the Renegade Virus. There's the Tale of the Phone Police that I totally, totally 100% in third grade. I we had to write a creative, uh, creative writing essay about anything of our choosing, and it, and I totally. L 
actually rewrote the entire story of the phone police and got an A-plus on it because she thought that it was me and not something that I ripped off from TV, but that's a different story. <laughs> I'm a bastard like that, I know. And that's sometimes just how it's got to happen. Okay, so we can definitely do buy this thing for 12000 which is sick because when I get enough gold to do it, I'm totally going to do it. Um, but yeah, and then, let's see, there's also, um, Station, the Tale of Station 109.1, .1, which, strangely enough, had Ryan Gosling in it. All the, the fangirls are gonna be like, oh my god, the am fucking banging myself. Um, and then, after that, probably, ooh, ooh, okay, yeah, definitely the, uh, the Tale of, uh, Dead Man's Float. That one was pretty creepy. That one always kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. So... All right, well, here's the, here's the thing, guys. I was I was only hoping to get through that boss fight tonight, but when we come back next time and let's play the next episode of Gauntlet, we uh, we unlocked tier three down here. So we're gonna go check out what this is. I mean, I'm guessing with the red stuff, uh, I don't even know what to really expect. Maybe it has something to do with lava. I'm gonna say maybe we're gonna be looking at something with lava. Maybe a battlefield. I don't know. Some because. If there's one thing we know for sure, love is a battlefield. But this is probably not going to be the battlefield filled with love. It's probably going to be the one filled with just incredible amounts of death and suffering. But not for me, only for them. So until then, my friends, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching. Go watch Are You Afraid of the Dark? Hooray, Canadians, for all of your awesome glory and that sort of thing. And uh, I will see you guys next time, because I'm going to go downstairs, make myself a couple of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and watch some fucking Are You Afraid of the Dark, so you guys take it easy, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.